So some of you may be aware that in some of the latest firmware released by Unication, they now allow for radio reference importing. Um, at first when this was released, it was kind of buggy, uh, worked okay, but in the latest uh, software, which currently is a version of 0.3.16 beta 24. It actually works quite well and allows you to import not only trunking information but uh, conventional frequencies as well. So this makes it really simple for programming right off the fly. So we'll start with our Unication software. Um, we're just going to create a new file real quick just to show you it. So we're going to create for user group, create new profile. Go down here, select our model information. There we go. Make sure it's correct. So we got 7800 and VHF. Select. Yes. Get rid of the uh, parameter description here. And I'm not even going to go through any of these uh, settings here. I'm just going to go right up here, up into the upper right, import radio reference. Now I've already... <clears throat> entered my username and password here but it will uh, take a second to connect you do enter your username and password and then you hit connect take a second and then load so from here you'll see at the top network online radio reference online so it means that it's actually connected and talking to the database and then you can from there choose your country state and county so um, we're just going to choose, let's go Delaware, and then uh, let's try Kent County, see what kind of system we have out here. So over here, once you select your state and county, we can then select the type of system we're looking for. So let's start out with P25 trunking system. So we'll go to the Delaware Wireless Interoperability Network, and then select Get Data. So you'll see we got 58 talk groups we can choose from. Um, very similar to programming some of the scanners out there. It's in a tree format, so you can either check them all or you could check individual talk groups as wanted. And then you can uh, sort your site. So you can do it by site name or the county that they're in um, or the actual site and RFSS number. Um, so I'm just going to select the first site. You can select multiples. Um, actually, we'll select a couple here. So we got our talk group selected. We got our site selected. Down here at the bottom, you can choose whether or not you want it to create a new zone or knob. This will automatically create a function on one of the uh, in one of the zones for this system. Um, so it'll already start that process for you. And then choosing to import all or just the primary and alternate control channels. I typically choose all control channels just to account for any possible errors in the database. But uh, since the pager can handle them just fine. So import in to PPS. There we go. Import finished. Result says it's imported four trunking sites. 16 control channels, 58 talk groups, and then it's created zone one, knob one. Now additionally, so we'll just exit out of this, and we'll go look at the frequency information. So frequency and system, P25 trunking, you'll see that Delaware Wireless, we have four sites, so it actually entered the site names as well as the RFSS ID and site ID as well as the control channels and named them as well in the notes in which was the primary frequencies. Then we can go down to group ID setting. You will see all 58 talk groups have been entered. And then we'll go over to the zone and channel settings. And you'll see that it created a new zone so if you have another a zone already that you want to enter it in, you can always um, copy and paste it up in somewhere else if you want to add it. So then we added it to zone one and deleted our second zone just to clean that up. Now the one thing you will need to do is go in here, add an alias. It's just got the default alias. So if you wanted to name it Delaware, um, radio, 
we'll just name it that for now. And then scroll down here, it'll only add the first talk group, but you can go over here to the left, select them, add them to the group list or to the non-priority group list as you are as desired. And then all you have to do is save your changes, save it, and then program it to the pager. The importing is that simple. Just be aware that if you're importing multiple different trunking talk groups, different trunking systems, it can get uh, complicated real quick. But that's all there is to it.